All right, we're gonna do a quick lesson on My Everything by Ariana Grande. We're gonna go through it a few different ways. First couple ways are gonna be super easy, just single notes. Even if you wanted to learn how to play this on bass guitar, this would work on the bass too. And then we'll do like a two note version, which is like getting a little closer to the piano part. And then we add an extra note to that. And then finally at the end, we'll do like the full on piano part on the guitar, which is really difficult. So we'll see how far you're able to take it. Um, so you have a few options there. But um, the good news is the song's very repetitive. So once you get that, uh, that chord progression down, you pretty much have the whole entire song. It just kind of keeps repeating over and over again. So um, here we go. The easiest version you could do, um, just kind of like follow the, the uh, bass line. Um, and you can play this on bass guitar too. This would work if you're trying to play it on bass. Um, so we'll do everything on the top string first. So we're gonna do second fret on the top string, hit that twice, and then open twice. So you're not pressing anything down, just hitting the open string. And then seventh fret, still on the top string four times now. And that little progression follows through the entire song. So you could just use that for the whole song. So it's just. Another way you could play that, um, you could keep it all in the ninth and seventh fret area. So you don't have to jump around, but you'd have to use two strings. So you could do um, ninth fret on the A string. And then seven on the A and then seven on the top string. So again, that's nine on the A, and then seven on the A, and then seven on the top. All right, so then um, taking this a little trickier, um, you could do the bass line on the A string and then some of the piano high notes on the E string. So we're only gonna be doing two strings together, but now on the right hand, you're gonna to have to hit two different strings. So you can't really use a guitar pick for this. You're gonna to have to use two different fingers. And um, like I'm starting on nine on the A, nine on the bottom, and then I'm using my thumb, which is doing like a downward motion when it hits. And then I'm using my middle finger, which is doing an upward motion. So it's almost like you're, you know, trying to touch your two fingers together. The middle finger's going up, the thumb's going down. So if you've never done that, that takes a little bit of practice to get used to. So I'm hitting uh, nine and nine together, and then just the E string nine by itself. And then um, we go seven and six, and then just the six by itself, and then two and two, then the two by itself, and then two and four, and the four by itself. So when you put that version all together, here's what it sounds like. So I'm hitting on the first one, two strings, and then the second note in the pattern is just one string. So it's just two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. If that coordination is throwing you off, you could probably hit both of them for every single hit. When you do it um, with just the one bass note, it's a little closer to the actual song, like the piano's just doing it once and then the right hand you know, chord hits it again. So it'll get you sounding a little more precise to the song, but you could do it that way if you had to. I don't think it sounds as quite as good, but you can. Um, and then taking it up another notch, we could do it the same exact way, but then add another note on the B string. So this gets a lot trickier. Now we're using three different fingers on the right hand. We're gonna have the thumb on the top string, um, I'm using my index on the B and then my middle on the E string. So we're st we still have the nine and nine like we did before, but we're adding 11 on the B. So we're gonna do all three together and then just the nine and 11 at the bottom. And then we move to um, seven, seven on the B and then six on the E. Same pattern, all three together and then just the seven and six. 
and then we go um, two and four. Now you could either do like I'm doing a bar if you have the finger strengths to do that. I'm just holding my index finger down and like you know holding all the strings. So you could do it that way. If you're not quite ready to do bars yet, like if you're just starting out, you could use three fingers too. Like you could use your index. I'm going pinky here and then middle on the bottom string. And then uh, keep the two here and then we're just switching the bottom two notes to three and four. So this whole version we got So one more time, real slow, I'll walk you through it again. So 9, 11, and 9, and then 7, 7, and 6, and then 2, 4, and 2, and then 2, 3, and 4. So we'll do the whole thing. The, uh, the hardest version now, this one's really tricky, but it's like pretty much the exact piano part. You know, we got the right hand piano chord and then the left hand uh, piano bass line. So the bottom three strings that's playing like the right hand piano part and then the, uh, the bass notes on the top are playing like the left hand piano part. So we got, um, so I'm doing this as a full bar. Like you can do it as, you know, all four different fingers, but I think that's a lot harder. If you can get the bar, that's definitely the way to go. Um, so I'm barring the ninth fret, um, bottom five strings, and then I'm holding down 11 and 11 on the G and the B string. So I'm playing uh, three fingers on the bottom, index, middle, and ring, and the thumb on the A string. You could do this as four fingers, like you get rid of the bar and then move your middle finger there, but when you have to go back to repeat it, it's definitely harder to set that chord up. But you could do it, you know, if you, if you practice that and you're able to master it. Uh, then the next one, uh, we're gonna go, I would go open string, because we could do the seven like we were doing before, but it makes that chord a lot harder to play. So we'll do open on the top, and then it's gonna be nine on the G, seven on the B, and then six on the E string. So kind of a big stretch there. I'm using my pinky on that. And then this is another one I would do kind of like the first chord, same shape. You know, we have a bar on the second and then fourth fret on the G and the B. And then keep the second fret there and then we're changing uh, to four, three, and then four on the bottom. So this whole hard version. So that is definitely tricky. Um, that would definitely take you some practice to get that down. Um, the good news is there's no other part. That whole song is just kind of like repeating the whole thing over and over again. Um, I think, <laughs> I'll, I'll double check that. Um, I don't think there's a bridge part.